war of drones comes to Moscow. In the last 48 hours, Ukraine has apparently conducted a war of the drones on Moscow and other locations in Russia, as well as on occupied Crimea, simply because it now can through increased weapon supply and technological innovation, according to Kyiv Post media outlet. The increased drone strikes come as Ukraine is likely becoming the largest manufacturer of unmanned aerial vehicles and their naval equivalents in the world, including the potentially crowdfunded Boba Beaver drones that probably hit a government ministry building in Russia's capital. Such a level of production of lethal ground and floating drones as in Ukraine is not found in any other country in the world, said Oleksandr Kamishin, the Ukrainian minister responsible for growing military production. Experts believe this is all part of an unprecedented push by the government, the private sector and even civil society to radically increase the war-torn country's military capability and self-reliance. Muscovites shudder from the sirens, go to the bomb shelters, watch as it flies into strategic objects, do not sleep from the work of air defense, go to the funerals of loved ones, and at the same time, don't get tired of looking for an answer to the question. For what? Pritula, a popular television personality, tweeted. Serhi Pritula, the founder of one of Ukraine's main projects for military and humanitarian fundraising, posted photos and video of himself with Ukrainian-made Boba drones that apparently are the type sighted over Moscow and have a range of some 1,000 kilometers. It should be noted that three drones attacked Moscow in the early morning of July the 30th, the Russian Defense Ministry claimed. President Volodymyr Zelensky said it's natural and fair that the war is returning to Russian territory. Ukraine is becoming stronger. The war is gradually returning to Russian territory, to its symbolic centers and military bases, and this is an inevitable, natural and absolutely fair process, Zelensky said.